425 Ocala over in East McKeesport. Nice little bungie, bungalow. Uh, we got some leftover paint from the office, Greek Villa. It's a low luster. We're going to paint, uh, we'll get all this bonded up and filled in. And we're going to paint this pole. I think I'm going to have Zach's crew come over and do this up here. And then just stop it right on this piece right here. I'm going to leave all this paint and the ceiling as it is. Everything's good. We're going to rip off this uh, screen door. And we are going to uh, paint this door crabby apple red. We're going to do our uh, black cage light here, here. And we're going to put a mailbox right here. Look, I could even see the outside, the outline. Actually, it looks, you could pick it up in the camera. Look at that, Bob. There's, there's the old mailboxes there. So we'll put it right there. And then on this address, I'm good with. What I want to do is pull off the numbers, just paint this background white again, and we'll put the numbers back on. It's good. So no reason to buy anything new for there. All right. Whole first floor, uh, our whole uh, living room, dining room, kitchen will get LVT. Uh, we're going to pop in a Hawkins fan right here. I just went over all that with Doug. Uh, we're going to leave these window treatments on for the time being. Uh, they're, they're nice and they'll, they'll match our hardwood floors and everything. We're going to leave uh, this opening, just do our typical flat alabaster on the ceilings and walls. And then we'll hit the uh, semi-gloss on all the trim work. And, uh, so all this stuff we'll call trim work. All right. Uh, new plugs and switches throughout over to white. Um, just going to put a disc light here. Uh, nothing going on here. Just, you know, your LVT and your plugs. Uh, I'll run through this real quick. Uh, Kitchen, we are going to leave the bulkhead. This is an old house. You guys know I hate old houses. All this is going to happen. Once we start pulling off that bulkhead, all this shit's going to start happening. So we're going to leave it. All right. Um, I hate the crown, but I don't even want to touch it. So we're going to leave it. Uh, we are going to pull this medallion and uh, just get that. Just that thing's hideous. I don't think that's probably just for their look. Cause I got like a real Victorian look going on over here. Um, just went over the kitchen with Doug, so I think he's all straight there. The plugs are all perfect where they're at, so we really don't need to touch any plugs. We're going to do no garbage disposal and no dishwasher in this house. We don't have any room. Um, but yeah, I'll get this on paper. But we are, here's the stove, here's the corner I'm looking at. Yeah, we're just going to do a little little niner in here. Um, and then the stove, and then it's uh base cabinet then this thing's going to kind of be off centered on the window uh, then this is going to be a blind cabinet going this way into a 36 inch cabinet over here i'm going to put the fridge over here all right uh this ceiling is higher i'm going to do a higher um do i'm going to do the 18 inch cabinet over here or over this over the fridge because the 12s look really chintzy um, but we're just going to hold it at 90 inches it doesn't go quite up to the ceiling so just hold that at 90 inches i'll put a note in the kitchen drawing LVT will come all the way throughout um, over to this landing and stop. We're going to paint these downstairs steps. We're not going to carpet them, but I'll get to that later. Uh, do a good job. Uh, I don't want to cut around all this stuff. Jam saw. We get, we're going to peel off all this cord around. I got cord around the office. We're going to use it. So don't be afraid to break it. We're going to jam saw all this casing and jams, and then we'll slide our hardwood floors underneath. Let's be carpenters. All right. Um, We'll hit the bedrooms, these things are easy. Um, just typical Hawkins fan, we'll change out the plugs and switches. Um, I have stuff, I'm trying to get rid of stuff at the office. So I have a piece of malamine shelving that'll just go right on top of here. And then I'm pretty sure I have a closet rod that'll just go from this way over to here. So we'll just get rid of this stuff. Um, access panel is good down there. We are changing out drum traps and plumbing. Uh, yeah, and then carpet. So carpet will be all throughout the bedroom, all throughout this hallway. We'll just like transition it somewhere, you know, on this jam, wherever, if, there, if, a, if a whole piece makes sense, or if you want to do half and half, whatever kind of makes sense, you guys make the call whenever you're doing the install. Um, if it makes sense to bring it all the way over to here, cause it's a full piece, cool, or stop it over here, cool, you know, um, versus ripping small little pieces to center it up. That's stupid. Uh, do this bedroom too then we'll hit the bathroom uh same exact thing they put in one of these weird ceilings but it's in perfect condition so we'll leave it uh flat paint i'll make it all go away hawkins fan plug switches change out the white these guys already did what i'm talking about so they they did these little returns which we don't need but we'll keep 
but they did the uh, that with the claws rod going all the way across. We can leave these shelves. Um, they did a kind of a good job, I assume. This is probably like the master. Um, they set it up nice for themselves. Uh, all the doors, the, so these closet doors, we can leave. Like I said, this is an older house, and with older houses, you get all this kind of weird shit. These, I'm cool with leaving because they're closet doors, but uh, we are going to bondo and wood fill all of these, uh, you know, all these doors. And we're going to go black hardware everywhere. Uh, this light up in that hallway too. I just forgot about that. So um, this room kind of has one of these Florida rooms. We're going to we're going to bring the carpet into it. And then we are, all these windows are all good. We have a bunch of stop at the office. We're just going to add to here to finish it off. Okay. So we have some type of trim to finish that off. And then we'll just leave all the casing and everything in, in uh, intact. All right. Uh, that door can stay. We'll just paint it. Uh, this ceiling uh, needs a lot of love. So probably scrape it, uh, mud it. Might, you know what? You might get back to the original texture. If you get, get back to this, uh, if you have to, just do a quick stipple on it. Knock down it. Knock it down. So, all right. This one's going to be carpet. It's right off of the, uh, right off of this nice little side porch right here, actually. So a little different from the master. You can actually get over into the kitchen, which, um, which I'm good with. It's kind of a nice walkthrough and it has, and it will be a lockable door. So it's kind of convenient coming through here. Uh, oh yeah. Bathroom. So bathroom, pretty easy. We're going to leave the tub. We're gonna put in our normal UCG hardware, um, bring it up, and then we will do the shower arm at our typical, I think, seven foot. Just bring our white three by six subway towel up, and then just come wherever full course is, right below the shower arm, just stop the subway towel there, and just rip around over, schluter on top, over to this casing, and then same thing. The only thing weird, this is a bigger room than 60 inches. They put this little shelf in, and it has a nice, this actually matches our theme, so we'll keep it. So we'll bring our subway towel over to here. I'm gonna have Junk Crew try to leave this intact. If not, we can just get an outside corner schluter. If, if our subway towel fits in here, that's great. We'll bring this subway towel over to here and return it. And then let's bring a piece of schluter all the way up here. Um, because what's gonna happen is this water is gonna come on here. And if we follow the tub, like on the other side with our schluter, we're gonna have drywall right here and it's just gonna get wet and that's just gonna not be good. So then on this side, typical, just run your shoulder right on this side of the tub. All right, uh, let me get backwards here. Typical round toilet. We're gonna to put in a 24 inch Euro because it's a really tight right here in between. And then we'll do our 20 by 26 cooler uh, or whatever it is, Pegasus. Doug's actually gonna put it in the recess spot that it's in right now. And then we'll put our normal light above. All right, and we do need a GFI. So didn't talk to Doug about that, he's here. So we'll, we'll either, we could always do our switch with our GFI on the bottom or we can, they have power. They have power right here somewhere. So if we can get a GFI somewhere here where it makes sense, I'll go over that with him, all right? That might be, might be Hunter. I might have Zach's crew come over and help for a couple weeks. All right. Um. Cool. I think that does the whole first floor. Um, same thing. This is going to be a bedroom up here. Uh, we'll do the hardware. I'm good with all the painted hinges from now on. Um, steps going up. Well, every, this whole entire second floor we get carpeted, including the steps. We are going to build a wall right here. I went over it with Doug. So we're just going to come. We're going to stop about right here on this step right here. We're going to bottom plate and then we're going to double t plate the top and then we're going to buy eight footers. So all the studs in between could be 32. That way we got our bottom plate and our two top plates. That's four and a half inches plus a 32 inch stubs. That, that brings us up to 36 and a half inches. We'll put a, uh, like a one by six on there. That'll get us up over 37 inches. It'll be a nice size and, uh, and like not a lot of waste when we cut them studs at 32 inches. So we'll do that. Um, let's get rid of this. They started to make it another closet, just really weird. We'll get rid of this. We'll go ahead and keep this, what they started to do. Let's just obviously finish the drywall, get a corner in there. And I'm actually just gonna leave this open. They could kind of make it their own little custom closet. If they wanna put like a curtain on it, that's fine, but I'm not gonna put some weird 
wide custom door nightmare on there. All right, there's kind of carpet all the way in there. All new white plugs and uh, switches up here. We're just gonna do three disc lights. So disc light here, disc light there, and disc light down there. Um, I don't know how how to do these in the peaks actually. So if they make a finished box, uh, or just put in a nicer looking box and we could just paint it and we'll put this light on there maybe, or if we need to build a little weird thing there just to take the, the junction box, we'll just do that. That's that's fine. Um, okay. I went over this with Doug, a couple technical things. We're gonna build a closet right next to this brick. We're gonna expose this brick to do a light um, on day one. Let's just do a nice light brush. I don't know if you guys ever worked on these old houses where you just rub like a wire brush on all these mortar joints to kind of knock it down. And then we'll do a nice uh, wet, uh, a gloss sealer on there to, to kind of make that brick pop. All right, we're gonna come back, split the difference on this. I think this was 18, we're gonna come back to nine. Um, run our wall right here. We're gonna do a closet. And we're gonna basically come right off of this. I think it's around 41 inches wide. And then we're gonna put a 30 inch door on there. Um, probably a probably a 30 inch left. I'll tell Bob 30 inch left. That way it'll swing into this uh, into this half wall. All right, we'll bring it out. So and then what we'll end up doing is putting putting in a closet rod that goes all the way back to to there. So, all right. Um, I went over this with Doug. We're just gonna front, we're just gonna put some 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 wood on the inside here, and then we'll just put a piece of plywood of some sort to just block this off for now. We'll just make it like an access panel. That way, if anyone ever wants to get in there for whatever reason they can, same thing over on this side, okay? Um, and that's it, the carpet. And this is, this is a, it's like kick-ass, big-ass uh, room, actually. All these windows need jam extended. Uh, I think inch and a half actually works real handy. I think I have a bunch of that too. Um, so we could just jam extend and just case it out. Probably be the easiest thing to do, all right? That was pretty quick, but uh, we can go over technical stuff, but um, but Doug was here, so we should be good on all this. I think we're getting uh, 20 two by fours and like 12 sheets of drywall should do all this up here. All right. Basement, not much of a scope of work. You know, let me hit this back porch real quick. Not much of a scope of work. And uh, we'll shag bark the deck. And then we are starting to lose. So look how nice these corners are. I'm never going to be able to match that in a million years. So we are starting to lose this bottom. I went over this with Doug. What I want to do is I want to I want to run. I want a carriage bolt from one side to the other. I want to recess them because I'm going to wrap some PVC. I have PVC at the office. I'm going to wrap some PVC baseboard to try to stop this from rotting and try to save this. Okay. And then same paint out front. I think it's uh, I think we have some Greek Villa, just like a cream. We'll paint just the this 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 hand railing system. Okay, up to here, and then same thing. Just uh, ah shit, this one's a different setup. Go ahead and just paint all the way up to the crown molding. Okay, then don't touch the crown. Okay, cool. That will do that. We can leave this screen door. I guess it's good enough. Uh, go ahead and paint this red as well. That'll look good. And let's paint. Let's paint. Mm, that's a nice screen door. Let's paint this red and the one inside red as well. That works. Uh, I, already, I got your lockbox already fixed right here. You guys know the code. Uh, black cage light right here to match the, uh, the same ones we got out front. Um... You know what? Don't even change this out. It's on a black. It's on a back porch. It looks good enough. I'm good with it. Unless Bob got it, change it. Either way. Um, nice handrail. We'll just paint these steps shag bark. I'm good with that. We drive all the way going down. It's pretty nice down here. Uh, they have a cool. They have a sick like cold train system going like throughout this whole side and front corner of the, of the basement. It's pretty sick. Too bad we gotta throw it all away. Um, I'm gonna leave this counter system and these cabinets, they're really great storage. And I'm actually gonna leave this pegboard uh, shelving as well. And then I'll have junk crew remove everything from here on out. All right. 
And then I don't know if we have a wet basement or not. There's too much shit down here. So I just need junk crew to clear it. And then we'll figure out if we're going to paint this floor. Just, just mop it up. All right. I would like the drywall, the ceiling. There's just it's kind of an old stench in here. I think it would help out. And then it's just going to be nice and wide open down here. And then uh, I went over the lighting with Doug. I think we're going to do three lights down here. This is one already right there. One. Put one right around here, too. And then we'll put one in between these two. Three. And then we'll get one, uh, we'll get two, we'll do one in that back corner and then one in this laundry area. So I think five, maybe six will do it. So just work them all off of one, one switch is fine. All right, uh, nothing to do right. We're just gonna clear, we're gonna clear all this shit out, make it one big wide open room. Uh, we're gonna clean and check this furnace in AC. That'll be to be determined. We're gonna put in our littler system here. These things are always leaking, they break and they're huge and it's just, it's time to go. This is all, all fucked up. So we'll change all this out and get this all updated so we're not gonna touch it again. And then we'll get rid of this washer and dryer, but the hookups are there. Um, I'm good with this window actually. It's the old school look, I dig it. I and mean, then we got lucky, we got a whole bonus bathroom down here. So this bathroom I'm not gonna to touch. The floor's great, the sink's great. We'll just uh, change this out to a uh, more efficient toilet. We'll get rid of the five gallon. Big mirror, light's good enough. Nice, really nice shower stall. I think Bob's just got a new shower head. Uh, they tiled it. We got our vent fan in right here. So everything is groovy. We got the vent fan on this switch. And then we got the light above on this switch and we got the GFI. So they did a great job in here. Really nice. All right. That does that, and I think that is it. That'll do it. I'm sure we'll have some more questions, but that should cover most of it. Uh, all this plumbing, Doug's going to take it all the way down to the ground, hopefully, and just front coat it, and everything will be ABS above here. And we'll just uh, front coat into the, into the uh, stacks. So. All right. That does it. There he is. Famous. <laughs> <laughs>